So thus far in Max, we've been interacting with our patch by clicking on things to turn them on and off and clicking and dragging and maybe typing in numbers. But there are actually other ways that we can interact with our patch using our keyboard and mouse that we can more readily control and automate. So let's take a look at some objects in Max that help us do that. The first one is key. Key's job is to report keyboard presses. So this uses a method called ASCII values, which is just a standard for taking letters and symbols and turning them into numbers so that we can talk about them digitally. Coming out of the first outlet of key, you have your standard ASCII code of the key pressed. So we'll take an integer box so that we can see what number is happening. I'm gonna press the space bar. I get the number 32 when I press the space bar. When I press the letter A, I get 97, B, 98, C, 99, etc. There's a whole list of these that you can find out, or you could just type on your keyboard when you want to know what number something is. So if I, for example, wanted to be able to turn my sound on and off with my spacebar, I can set that up. We already found out that 32 is the number for the spacebar. So I'm going to grab a select object and look for the number 32 coming out of my key object. Now when I press the spacebar, I get a bang message. If I hook this bang message up to a toggle, I can toggle this toggle on and off with my spacebar now. And now if I just take this toggle and hook it up to my easy deck, I can turn my sound on and off with just my spacebar. I can also get live data from my mouse input using an object called mouse state. Let's open up the help file and look and see what's happening here. So we have a horizontal position and a vertical position and a delta horizontal and vertical delta, which is essentially the speed that the mouse is currently moving at. You also have a toggle for on off zero or one when the mouse is clicked or unclicked. So let's just copy this into our patch so that we can use it. So I'm going to set this up with a slider so that you can see visually where my mouse is on the screen. I'll make this into a horizontal slider and set its size to match the resolution on the X plane of my screen. Now when I take my horizontal position and feed it into this slider, oops, I forgot to turn it on. So you have to use a method called poll for mouse state, poll and no poll. And if you need real time data of the mouse, you have to keep asking it where it is at every frame, every point in time. So you have to stream a lot of data. So I have to keep asking for it. So polling is like asking where the mouse is at any given time. So I can turn this on and off. So I'll go ahead and turn on my polling. And now when you scroll, you'll see my sliders going to the left and to the right. And if I click no poll, then my mouse state is no longer reporting information. Go ahead and turn polling back on so you can see what's happening here. So maybe I want to use my mouse position to actually control something about my patch. So I have some sound files turned on here. Just turn that up so you guys can hear it too. All right, excellent. So maybe I want this slider to control my live gain. So I actually have a number box set up here, going from negative 70 to six, and that's in decibels, into my live gain. You can see my triangle moving back and forth. If I want to use my mouse position, I can hook this into my live gain slider. However, right now I have a problem. The numbers coming out of my slider are from 0 to 1280. Let's look at that. And the numbers going into live gain are a different range, negative 70 to 6. So I need something in between here to make these match up. I need these ranges to know 
because I don't really care about these numbers anymore. All I care is that the low and the high match. So I'm going to use an object called scale. And scale's job is to map values to an output range. I need to give it some arguments here. First, my input low and my input high. So that's the data coming in. That's 0 and 1280. And then I'll say my output low and my output high. So that's going into my live gain. In decibels, it's negative 70 to 6. Hook these up. And now when I have, am moving my mouse here, you can see that scale object is linearly calculating my low input to my new low input and my high input to my new high input. And my live gain matches my mouse slider. Let's go ahead and play that. Double bang. So that's a simple example of how you might use the position of the mouse on screen to control some element of the media in your patch.